Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here bringing my December debt snowball update. So I'm going to try to make this a little quick. It's not that great this month, but if you've been watching my other videos from the month, I've been trying to cash flow a car repair of $1,700. So you'll see how that did when I do my end of the month budget report, which I'm a little behind. I need to write that up. So that being said, this credit union loan, I might... If I have anything I could put towards that, it might change a little bit, but right now this is the amount that I have. Um, and here is all of my debt snowball from lowest to highest. And down here are my student loans, which I will turn into a debt snowball of their own from lowest to highest once I get to the student loan portion of my debts. So. And also for the student loans, if you see here, the S and the U is subsidized and unsubsidized in case that if you want to know the information there. All of this here is my minimum payments and this here is the snowball of what the snowball will be for each of those payments when I come to them. And this 290 here is because I dedicate myself to try to at least pay $50 on top of this snowball for a total snowball of 290 for this lowest one instead of 240. So my credit union loan, I was really hoping to pay off in November, but I didn't quite make it. I had to take a month off of paying that so that I could try to cash flow. So I didn't pay anything this month, which means the credit union loan is at $329.96. It only added 46 cents in in fees or you know interest and stuff like that. So that's why I chose to opt out of paying that one so that I could try to cash flow and I pay the minimum on everything else. The capital one, I paid my minimum and it is now $3,502.41. So it's down just a little bit. Discover is $3,704.67. It is down just a little bit as well. Now the federal loans, let's skip down here. The first one we have $2,417.71. It's down by about a dollar. The next $2,659.36. $3,702.59, and finally $7,063.18. So if you see, they all went down by like maybe a dollar, dollar and a half or so. The total for my student loans is $30,420.36, down from $30,432.50. So I took off about $12 total for my federal loans this month. The rest was interest. So we'll put that amount up here, $30,420.36. So that makes my total $37,957.40, which is only a difference of $68.92. And I mean, at least it paid off a little bit, but very slow goings this month, but I am proud of the progress that I made in cash flowing my car repair. So I think that is a huge win for this month anyways, even though I couldn't do much on my debt snowball because it kept me from going into my debt. It kept me from um, taking too much out of my emergency fund. You'll see exactly what will happen at the budget report. Um, so that way I can keep going with my debt snowball this next month. So the total down from the very beginning comes out to $4,330.89. The total actual paid this month, my minimum payments and everything, I paid $315. And total is $6,730.80. Now, so that means the loss to interest. I paid $315. It only paid down $6,892 
which means I lost $246.08 to interest, making my grand total loss to interest $2,399.91. Um, so that's just a quick update because there's not much going on. It's not very exciting. I just paid a couple minimums and so it only went down just a little bit. Hopefully in December it'll be a little bit better. Of course, this is gonna start to be the slow months for work since it is the winter, but we'll see how it goes. So stick around and we'll see um, the next time you see my debt snowball, it'll be the beginning of the year. I'll talk to you guys next time. I will put the little buttons to subscribe and to watch another video that YouTube will suggest for you. And, um, let me know how your debt snowballs have been going this month. What have you been able to achieve? And especially with the holidays around it, I, I know it gets a little tough. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.